Hello, Cancerian friends. I am doing too much with this purple hair, but that's okay. Dare to be different. Anyways, okay. Cancer, let's do a reading before I go to sleep. Because I met a cool Cancer today in the beauty supply. She was so sweet. She helped me pick out. I'm not talking right tonight. She helped me pick out eyelashes. So I told her to check my YouTube out for her sign. And it took me forever to do the reading. Let's talk about situationships. Heartbreak, heartache, pain, and the games people play. Spirit, can you give us guidance tonight for my cancer friends regarding any situations that they be, may be in? Concerning dating, dating for cancers, two of wands, will of fortune, five of wands in reverse, cancer, cancer. June 2019, going into July 2019, too many cards, sorry Cancer, putting them back, Cancer, June and July 2019, Cancer, 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 dating, Cancer, I'm taking them. Three of Cups. Ace of Wands. The Hangman. The Sun. Final card, please, for my cancer friends. Dating advice. Dating situation. Friends with benefits. Dating situation. So a lot more cards than I asked for. One more card, please. Okay. Four of Swords. Okay. So, with the Two of Wands, somebody might be focusing on changing are improving their image or their status. Somebody's going to be blessed in a profitable way unexpectedly. Somebody that's lonely or unhappy will enter your life. And they might even offer to take care of you or try to offer you a living arrangement. But that lonely person might be married and just going through a hard time in their marriage or marital situation. They could be separated, um, but definitely married and lonely. Somebody's going to experience a turn of events with the will of fortune because of their karma. With the Five of Wands in reverse, I feel like someone has put a stop to petty arguments, drama, and fighting. And with the Three of Cups, after the Five of Wands, I feel like somebody might reunite with a past 
person that they were in a relationship with. Someone might be celebrating soon with wine, drinking, laughter, dancing, music. Could even be um, celebrating a new partnership or something exciting, but with the past person. Something good will be happening for somebody in the months of September, October, or November in autumn time. And it could be that you will be getting married or moving in with a lover. Someone could be writing a book or thinking about writing a book. And with the Ace of Wands, Spirit is saying that you will have a fresh start in business. So go ahead and write the book. Someone's relationship will become happy. If it's not already happy. The universe is trying to gift you with um, self-growth, self-love. And right now you are sitting in the seat of manifestation. Mm. With the hangman being under the will of fortune, I think that someone will possibly be... Um, stuck between two lovers because the three of cups is present so if the three of cups is not talking about an exciting partnership or a re reunion with the past lover then it is talking about a third party relationship or situationship so if you have been put into a third party relationship and you didn't know it then karma is going to be on your side. And the person will have a hard time picking between the two of you. But if it's you that puts somebody in a third party relationship, the will is going to turn and karma will be on their side. And you will be stuck not knowing who to choose. However, when that comes to when you do choose or when they choose it will be the right choice there could be a leo involved with the sun card and if you have any questions or if you want to ask a question right now i'll give you a couple of seconds if you don't know what the sun card is ask a question in spirit The sun card is the yes card. So if you have any questions about being involved in a third party relationship or if you're choosing the right person with the sun card being present, the answer is yes. I'm going to use some different cards. Your last card right here was four of swords. So somebody, okay, you guys know um, you're not the only one watching this video. It could be 30 people, 50 people, 70, 90, 100, or 1,000 people. There's no telling. However, everybody's story is going to resonate a different way. So there might be parts of the story that fit for you, and there might be parts that don't fit for you. So keep the part that that you know to be true and whatever else that doesn't feel right, let it slide. Because it could be for somebody else that's watching this um, this tarot video. But with the Four of Swords, I feel like somebody is taking a break from a situation that they were in. And with the Two of Wands, you are the person is looking back on the situation you were in. Somebody's walking away from something. Somebody's walking away from something because they are focused on whatever is old. They're focused on a past relationship. So the Three of Cups could be um, talking about a reunion between two lovers. Page of Wands in reverse. So somebody wants to come and offer you a passionate start or a passionate beginning but they're coming slow justice in reverse wait a minute 
Oh, sorry guys, my cards are upside down. <laughs> Page of Wands was not in reverse. My cards were upside down. Anyways. Okay. Now, what it looks like is somebody that you were with in the past has been thinking heavily about you. They probably left you in the past or... Yeah, I think they walked away from you in the past. But with the will of fortune, they can't stop thinking about you. They think about the fighting that took place between you guys. They even think about the the situation that happened involving a third person because they were probably with you and somebody else. However, they want to bring a stop to the arguing, the drama, the petty fighting, and they want to present to you a new start in love. So you might hear from this person or be getting back with this person over the summer, but you might make it official, get married or moved in or get engaged in the autumn during September, October or November. Or that could be the time you guys get back together. However, they are walking away from something that they are not happy in because they cannot stop thinking about you and um, the things you guys could have had together. They're having wonderful memories of you it's like bittersweet because they know that they've left and they know you have another life and they're not sure if you're going to accept them back or not but they can't stop thinking about you they're thinking about you in a sexual and passionate way and they are going to come offer you a new beginning they might not apologize for what they did in the past, but they're definitely going to get back in contact with you and probably act like none of it ever happened and just try to go for it with you because they miss you and they can't stop thinking about you. Cancer, 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 cancer. Yeah. This person is thinking about um, they need to take a trip to get to you or they want to take you on a trip. Something about traveling, though. They need to either travel to you or they want to travel somewhere with you. They view you as the single, independent um, lady. But they view you as, like, ultimate fulfillment, wish fulfillment. They think that you are beyond attractive. And they just want to be with you. Any final? So yeah, I want to leave it there, but I just feel like I should just pull another one or two or three. Let's see. But yeah, somebody's gonna um somebody that you had a little bit of a rocky time with in the past. You thought that it was over, but really with the four of swords, you guys were just resting. This person was trying to figure out what they wanted to do, but you are the one that makes them the most happy. They are thinking about traveling to you or taking you on a trip somewhere because this is how they view you. A uh, um, woman that has her coins together and you're single and you're living your best life. They miss you. They want to be around that happiness that you provide. Yeah, last card. This is what it is. Somebody's coming to offer you a new beginning in a relationship, an old friend, an old lover, and I really believe it's a Leo. Um, it could be anybody. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but with the lion up here, I feel like it's a Leo. With the sun card, I feel like it's a Leo. But thank you, Cancer, for coming to get your reading with me. I hope to see you soon. Ciao.